bats, whether it's in regionals or super regionals, they got to make the change over from the metal bats over to the wood bats. Now, a lot of guys have been talking to me about how many bats they bring. Some of them get provided by the Commodores, but there are also those who bring two or three like Eddie Alvarez, or you could be like Alex Mooney and bring four. Welcome back to Gov Fuller Field. Firebirds about to come up to bat here in the top of the fifth, which is a great time to talk about the lineups. Normally, you see these get posted two hours before first pitch, sometimes even 30 minutes before. But for Kelly Nicholson, manager of the Firebirds, they're already posted on social media. He's been doing this almost every single game for years now, posting them at 9, 10 a.m. In fact, Game 2's lineup is already up on his Twitter, at CoachK21. And the reason why he does this, to simply help everyone out, himself, teams, the media, and even the opponent. The last thing he told me before the game today was that if he's offering out a helping hand, then it's simple. He's winning. Guys, back up to you. Tunnel vision is key, especially when you throw gas like Mikey Tepper. But tomorrow you guys take on the Hyannis Harbor Hawks. How important is it to get a win? Not only to just get a win, but also get into that winning mindset. Two straight is an opportunity here at Hyannis tomorrow. Yeah, it's very important. You need to, uh, very important to keep building wins and building success, uh, just getting better every day. So it's very important to win tomorrow. Looking back at that high end game, you know, there was that ball that got by you in center field. You make this bounce back play tonight. How important is that for you knowing you make this play and now you're starting to get used to the Cape Cod vibe? Gosh, yeah, you know, you got to you kind of have to get used to the fields out here. Going from the SEC where all the fields are like perfect and, you know, you've got some bumps in the road out there. So um, it's definitely been an adjustment, but um you know, nothing I can't handle, and um, yeah, I'm glad I could redeem myself on that one. One in the fourth, six in the sixth, and also five in the eighth. Talking to head coach Jeff Trundy last night, he was talking about how important it was for the Commodore Bats to finally get going, knowing the early offensive struggles that we have seen from this team in 2022. Full counts were fought for. They were won, some were lost. But you know what? They fought until the very end. And we'll get to find out if the Commodores can do just that yet again in game one and also game two a little later today. Guys, back to you. Snap of the second here at Gov Fuller Field, and Jerron Watts-Brown is out for his second inning of work. The last time we saw him on the mound was starting against Harwich at White House Field on Tuesday. We saw Jerron get in a couple of jams, but also get out of those jams. So the mindset today for Watts-Brown is two words, strike one. Top of the fourth inning here at Gump Fuller Field where it's starting to get a little chilly here in Falmouth. For the second straight night, the Commodores are playing in the temperatures in the high 50s, which is a little weird knowing we're in the middle of June and we're two days away from the summer solstice. But talking to catcher Jacob Cozart out of NC State, he tells me this weather is nothing to him. When he was with the Wolfpack this past season, he was in Blacksburg for a weekend series against Virginia Tech where he was catching in snow and 32 degree weather. Back here at Gov Fuller Field, we've talked a lot about adjustments these college players have to make. One of them being the change from metal bats to wood bats. Another is going to the summer workout plan provided by college coaches. This is Grayson Hits. He has three different lifts along with a post-pitching routine that he does after every throwing session. So yes, the summer, the summer routine of playing college ball and staying strong is just as important as hitting bombs and maybe even getting a couple of Ks in preparation for fall ball. Guys, back up to you in the booth. Also, there's Max Feske, the volunteer assistant coach for the Firebirds, who actually catches Stroman's bullpen sessions in the offseason in Malibu, California. Feske told me that Stroman is one of the hardest working dudes in the room, and he has a goal, Stroman, of leading Major League Baseball in innings pitched for the next five seasons, just trying to give his team a chance to win. Stroman was a star that shined when he was here on the Cape, and we get to find out who that next star will be soon this season.